My name is Richard Carmichael. I'm the Business Director for Capita within the Capita North Tyneside Partnership. I'm here today to give you an update on the highways improvement scheme that we're undertaking on Sandy Lane. We've now reached a critical point in the project, uh, having started the scheme back in the summer. Uh, we're about to undertake some uh, major changes to the traffic management arrangements at the top of Sandy Lane, wide open uh, roundabout. The current temporary roundabout that's been in situ now for the last few months will be replaced with a signalised T-junction. This will affect all approaches. Significantly, the most important change is if you're driving west on Sandy Lane, you will no longer be able to turn right into wide open. Instead, you'll have to carry on towards the Gosworth Marist Hotel roundabout and come back on yourself. This will then enable you to use the newly installed filter lane to get straight into wide open. If you are travelling from wide open, a signalised junction will enable you to turn right to head into Newcastle and Gosworth and a new filter lane will enable you to turn straight onto Sandy Lane if you're heading towards Killingworth. If you're approaching the junction from Newcastle, traffic signals will help you on your way travelling eastbound and the filter lane will also help you get straight into wide open. We're working all along Sandy Lane, improving access to the industrial parks and creating new access for Indigo Park which will bring new jobs to the area and maintaining safe access for cyclists, pedestrians and riders too. I'd just like to remind all residents, visitors and workers in the borough that all the businesses that are operating on Sandy Lane are open for business as usual. We know these works are going to cause inconvenience during their operation, but we'll be doing our best to keep disruption to a minimum. We'd like to thank all the users of this highway for their patience during these works.